Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining our channel today and our afternoon coffee chat series. Please drink along and enjoy today's session. So today we're going to talk about making dreams a reality by working at Google. <laughs> I think, um, you know, I had always, oh, and for those who are new for this channel, we talk about all things related to empowering you as an individual to become happier, healthier, and stronger, um, and really just achieve your dreams and make things a reality. So today I want to talk about Google, as I mentioned. I had always wanted to work at Google. It was known to be the best company, and I was a UC Berkeley, college student my sophomore year and really looking for opportunities for uh, tech in general. I thought Google was the like creme de la creme of what I could achieve potentially and that's what I wanted. I was very single-minded, very, very focused and I was chanting and meditating Nam Myoho Renye Kyo non-stop to like achieve that goal. I didn't know how I mean, there's a lot of UC Berkeley students too, right? I mean, there's a lot of competition to trying to get into Google. Google was known to be one of the most challenging companies to get into in the entire world. I mean, probably like NSA might be harder, but whatever. So still, in general for tech, it was like the creme de la creme of technology space and everyone wanted to work there. And so I didn't know how, you know, measly little me, like going to Berkeley, didn't really know how I would be able to stand out and even, I didn't even know about any internship programs. And so I was just chanting, chanting, chanting. Like I was like, you know what? This is my goal. Like, I'm just gonna make it happen no matter what. I don't know how, but it's gonna happen. <laughs> I like literally didn't know how. I didn't, that was literally, that was the only thing too. Sometimes in my life, I'm just so hyper-focused on this one goal that I have and then I just, make it happen, right? Um, I put out all these intentions into the universe and um, a friend of a friend told me about an intern. She was a contractor at Google. She told me about this internship opportunity for Bold, which is building opportunities and leadership development. And at the time, it was a very brand new program. It was 2009. It probably started around 2007. Um, so I was one of the first relatively new batches for this group and um, you know I spent so much time and energy uh, working on the application and I I like was just chanting mostly because you know the application is just one tiny piece of it but for them to like see your see your words and really want to even interview you is a whole nother thing right um, there's a lot of luck involved in, in a way right you have to have the right person who you know something about your application speaks to them personally as well or um, I don't know, you're just an exceptional candidate, which I don't think I was per se. Um, but, you know, I'm an incredible, I know fundamentally I'm a good human being. I had a really good rock solid, uh, um, you know, but uh, I was also a sophomore, right? So I had like no career experience, no, I had done a lot of internships and I had worked since I was 14. But in general, like, I didn't know how I was going to stand out compared to like everyone else who was applying, right? Um, so anyways, I wasn't thinking about that actually, to be quite honest, I was just chanting. I was like, hey, I was meditating, Nam Yohoring Kyo, like I absolutely need to make this happen no matter what. This is my dream company. This has to happen. I don't know how. Like, so I worked really hard on the application, sent it out. Um, I think I was one of the, you know, I was pretty fast in getting it into their eyes. Um, and maybe that helped. Um, and then I actually, when they started interviewing, I was in uh, Spain during my first semester. I was doing a study abroad program in Spain. And so I, unlike other people, they actually had to do interviews in person. But since I was in Spain, they weren't going to like pay for a plane ride to interview me. Um, and so they actually just interviewed me on the phone, which was a huge advantage as well. I had three rounds of interviews. The first one was with a recruiter. The second one with, was with my hiring manager who would be my manager during that internship program for like 10 weeks or so. Um, and then the last one was another lawyer who was the head of the department at the time. And so um, the reason why I was sent to the legal department in general too was that I was a legal studies major. And uh, so they immediately routed me to the legal department and I was working for the patents team. And so, um, yeah, I was able to, the recruiter was super, super easy. The hiring manager was phenomenal, really chill, very, very nice guy. And then the last lawyer, I felt like he was the department head, right? Um, so he was very, very good at interviewing. And he had told me like, why do you want to work at Google? And I was like, well, I, you know, I, I had the whole spiel of like, the company's awesome. It's a really great place to work. These really great 
uh, amazing benefits that they do for the community. And then also uh, I had actually been there and I had visited, I had visited a friend who worked there. And I love this like bike that they had where you can, where like six people can bike together on one device and bike around the campus, but you have to be somewhat coordinated to make sure that it works relatively well, well and that you're kind of steering in the right direction. And so he actually had me, he was like, well, you know, lawyers are always, they have to describe things that are very abstract. And that kind of device, which, you know, you've never really seen anywhere else, right, is something that you should, you know, how about you just, since lawyers in general have to explain abstract things, I want you to explain that experience of driving around and explain it to somebody who's never seen that device before. And I was like, oh my God. So I tried my best, but I was definitely stumbling. It wasn't super easy to explain a six person bike, right? Um, I don't even think most people nowadays have seen that device. So I thought I failed it. That was my last interview and I was like, ah, yeah. You know, I tried really hard. I worked, I chanted so, so much, excuse me. I worked on the application. I did everything I possibly could to try to get this internship. And you know what, I'm in Spain, like I'm still enjoying my life. I'm here abroad, like I'm drinking coffees. I'm, I'm exploring with friends. I'm learning Spanish, like whatever, you know, it's fine. But I still kept chanting because I was like, in the back of my head, I really, really wanted to get this internship. And there was like, that's it. That's all I wanted. I didn't really care about any other internships. That's the only one I really, really wanted. So I was chanting very single heartedly, like I'm very focused, very, very focused. Um, and then for some reason, even though I felt like I personally bombed that interview, the last one, um, I got a call from the recruiter saying, hey, and I was in, I was in the um, supermarket at, at a, in just a regular supermarket in Spain. And I was waiting to check out and I got the call. And she's like, you got the internship. And I was like, oh, oh my God, and I was so, so happy. I was like, like super ecstatic, very, very happy. And I think people around me thought I was crazy, but I was like, I don't care. Like, I'm so happy. This is everything I chanted for. This is exactly what I wanted. I'm so grateful, right? Um, and yeah, then I came back from Spain, I think. Oh yeah, and then I, I, right after that, I came back from Spain and then I was, I started my internship and it was the most amazing experience ever, the Google Bold internship program. Um, uh, I was really, not only did I really feel like I was able to make my dream a reality, but also um, it was just phenomenal. They like wined and dined you. My hiring manager was phenomenal too. Just really easy going, really nice, sweet guy. Really just wanted me to learn and feel like I was adding value to the team. Um, and I, I mean, they did like a Google Bold intern um, summer boat party. So we all went on this huge cruise for one night without like Alan Eustace and top VPs um, who are also dancing alongside with us and yeah, we just, they took us to nice dinners. They had every Friday or every Wednesday or something, they had a top person from many of the departments come and speak to us interns. Um, so we had Alan Eustace, we had, uh, we had Ch Chief Legal Officer David Drummond and so many other people who were just absolutely amazing. And it just made you feel like, wow, I really have access to these people who I see in the news or who are really, really high up at Google and who've been there for like, you know, 15, 20 years sometimes. Um, and yeah, just networking with the, and with the interns and just having a really good time with them over the summer was phenomenal. They're all like top notch people. They've all accomplished so much in their respective industries. And I'm so amazed and proud to have been part of that cohort. And luckily, um, you know, actually I did ask the, the, the third lawyer who was the head of the department. I was like, Hey, I thought I bombed that interview. Like, what happened? Why did you, like, did you, did I do well? Like, and he was like, no, he's like, you did actually a lot better than most other people. Um, and I was really impressed with the fact that you were able to describe something very abstract. Um, and yeah, you just set yourself apart by being in Spain and studying abroad and trying different things as a sophomore. Um, so that's why we hired you. We thought you'd be an excellent person for our team. And so um, I aced that first summer. I got another offer to do a following summer. Um, so I basically interned between my sophomore and junior year and then my junior and senior year. So I did two separate internships and I loved it so much. They just like wine and dine you and you have a phenomenal time and you're like going to all these uh, gym. It, I went to a lot of fitness classes. I ate breakfast, lunch and dinner there every single day. 
Um, I also did some work and uh, met some good colleagues, helped organize like fun, happy events where they have like quarterly offsites. Um, and what else? I just met some really awesome people and loved it so much. And then my following year after the second summer, I was able to get a full-time offer. And so it was pretty easy, like once I got the internship to get another one and then to get the full-time offer, relatively easy, right? I mean, they have to like you in order to get the next internship and to get the full-time offer is even more challenging. I remember like in the full-time offer application, so like anybody who wanted to apply to Google from intern to full-time employee had to fill out this really lengthy application where um, we were asked like really minutia details of our scholarships, for example, because I had received a lot of scholarships from uh, for college to help pay for my college. And I, <laughs> I remember they asked like, uh, what it, you know, how many people applied to this scholarship and how many people got it. So obviously it looked better I mean, but then I had to like go back to every scholarship organization and literally ask them because I was like, I don't know how many people applied. I have no idea. And I remember there was also um, like uh, your GPA, obviously, your SAT scores from high school, like just all these little things that you had to, you know, and you had to have references. Um, so it was quite a lengthy application, but so worth it because then I got the full time offer and I accepted. So thank you so much. And overall, this is just my journey of making it into Google as a Google Bold intern. Um, and just wanted to share a little bit more about my experience. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me, uh, julietaiko at gmail.com. I'll also add the link for the Google Bold program and any other information that you might like to see. So thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day.